ours anymore. My persistence doesn't fill in what's missing. Does not follow an imagined past we both pretend to know, and you should know that. I don't care who is faster, smarter, better, or who is spellbound. You leave me wanting and waiting and wishing for you to caress new poetry on my skin. Still, life still stirs in this old body. Your DNA is still under my nails. But you just stand <laughs> there smiling. Hold back your kisses to taunt me. Play fun and games to bring back your desires. I whisper words of encouragement in a room too hot for words. Yeah. On you, my whispers failed. You didn't have the fire in your heart. I was hoping to cry out a moan of jazz in slow measures. Scatter the deep purple bruises from within these four walls. Play the notes so slow they shimmy in the air. The ending wrote itself. The room stayed dark in old low down rhythms. You sang to me instead. Kirk, you want to pretty soon? Um, how about somebody else? I'm going to go run to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> Would you like a good You know, you said I interrupt because when I read my poem, then I concentrate more on what everybody's saying after I read my poem. Would you like to read now? Yeah. 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 And the reason I want to say, I want to do this part is because I forgot it last time. Yeah. And I skipped it completely and it's really important because um, it'll, it'll explain itself. Okay. This is Yolanda Katsalo. <laughs> Little short continuation was the part five that I forgot in the other poem, and then the other poem is a lot more like what poetry I usually write. It's called Share the Well. Why did not put up with that physical verbal harassment? I'm talking about my job. Now I know that the leg pains were nothing compared to unemployment. My poor unemployed soulmate, if I could ease the pain in his heart, his mind, his stomach, his guts, and I make as not, as not making as much money as I used to. He with a bad back, leg pains, and the sole pocketbook. Me feeling the pain as well, but not as bad, for I fear homelessness, the movement. Yes, it's there. Where will I be? The pains aid preventing me from feeling anything for the movement. What can we all do? Those without jobs, those now on the other side looking for work instead of writing revolutionary poetry. Write, I do write poems about hopelessness. Please help my boyfriend. He, he's very conservative, and uh, this, this me not having a gift is just killing him. But this other poem I, I wrote is called Share the Wealth. I wrote it about two months ago, and it's uh, called Share the Wealth. Democratic capitalism, or so they call it, where taxes are extracted from corporations to pay for programs for the poor. Yes, capitalism, they try to veil their sinister inherent corruption where profits reign. Where poor mothers and welfare send their kids out a night in the tenderloin while the parents get hired only to rob their children to the welfare state. Where people rob, murder, and rape in order to stay one step ahead of the game. So capitalists pay somebody five dollars an hour for a shirt that will sell for ten dollars to cover expenses on material machinery transportation. Yet when on the assembly line that value is multiplied a hundred times, it translates to twenty dollar profit which was extracted from the twenty dollar that the worker made for the capitalist class on the assembly line, by which the worker only got paid five dollars, maybe ten dollars an hour, and the third world countries two dollars a day. For an assembly line of twenty to thirty works will produce more than twenty shirts an hour and the worker only gets $5 or $10 an hour for that $20 profit, $10 clear, for a shirt that reaches at the store for $10. Again, what is the productivity today? 1,000 TV dinners, 
Our hundred radios, televisions, 200 military ships and planes, all for the pockets of the capitalist class. Yes, democratic capitalism prevails. For one can run for the presidency if you have mutual money in the tens of millions of dollars in pesos. The real cost is the little child running around half starved, half naked in the tender around the streets of San Francisco. The real cost is the woman who was raped, beaten, robbed, and murdered. The young man or teenager, the 20, 30, 60, 90 year old man or woman no longer walking on bullet ridden streets during the evening echoes of the day, during the deep, musty darkness of the night, during the hours of the rising sun as black turns to gray. Workers unemployed fight so that one day the spirit becomes us to military war no more. Instead, so that the spirit becomes us to question the crimes inherent and corrupt capitalist exploitation for profit. Fight with ideas in the guts of your hungry stomachs and mind. Have no more robberies, no more thefts by the capitalist class, no more private ownership of the means of production, no more private ownership of the wealth. Share the millions, the billions of dollars in pesos. Share the wealth, share the industrial agriculture production, share the land. Thank you, Yolanda. Okay, now we're going to hear from Kurt Lockin, who's one of our featured readers. He's going to read alone now, and later on he's going to read with his uh, backup in a different uh, Different format. Different format called the Word Music Continuum, but this here is a Kurt Lumpkin Continuum. It's great to be at the Beat Museum again. Right. See you all here. Um, I'm going to preface this piece um, 